everybody, YouTube, and welcome YouTube. to our channel. My name is Sam. My name is Ryan. And we are here to talk about some recent Broadway world news. Hmm. Broadway world, right? Broadway world. Oh, Broadway recent? world. Recent. I'm not it's sure. It's pretty recent. Yeah. The, the, a lot of people have been at it oh, to this oh, recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, let's not fight. Come on, come on, I, Ryan. I don't want to fight right now. Come on. You're being such a mean girl. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about and reacting to the now full Mean Girls movie musical cast. Oof. We had Mean Girls the movie, then we got Mean Girls the musical, and now we are getting Mean, mean Girls, Girls the, the musical, movie, the movie, movie. music. Movie. Well, Mean Girls well, the, the musical, movie. the movie. Yeah. It's the movie of the musical. Oh, mean funny. Girls the musical, the movie. But I think you can also say Mean Girls the movie musical, because it's a movie musical. Yeah, of the... of. It's a it's movie of the musical. musical. Sam, let's not fight. We made a video predicting this cast... How long ago now? A year ago. Wow. So we are here to react to the official cast. First up, we have Damien. Damien, I am very excited to see how this character shapes up. This is Jaquel, who you might recognize from A Strange Loop on Broadway. That went viral recently. I don't know too much about them as a performer, but I'm excited to see it. I love pulling from Broadway people. Right. Well, Jaquel did Mean Girls on Broadway, right? What's funny is this article says so, but I think I only know them from- Reprising the role in the movie musical. Wow, fierce. We love to see it. I only know them from A Strange Loop. Regardless, and we haven't necessarily like hit our feelings about this. Like Mean Girls the musical mm -hmm. is not necessarily like my favorite thing ever. No shade. No shade. Just tea. Just not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. But I will say, this role in the musical is like one of my favorites. There's a big tap number. So I'm like, I'm really excited to see this role brought from screen to stage to screen again. Um, and I love that they pulled from someone who actually did it in the musical. I think that is going to transfer really, really well. So I'm super excited about this pick. My own little personal disclaimer, I have not seen the musical. I've right. only seen clips of it. So I'm I'm very open to seeing this being put back on the silver screen and seeing how I feel about it there. Next up, we have Janice. Now this was a casting that I have to say I was a little surprised yeah. by. Uali, Moana, the, right, voice, the of voice of Moana. Moana. I'm super excited to give her an opportunity to play like kind of grungy and like counterculture. That's yeah. like not a casting choice I would have made, which is not me knocking the casting. I love to see casting choices that I wouldn't have predicted or guessed because usually that means that it's giving an actor an opportunity to surprise us. And like, obviously homegirl can sing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm like stoked to see this come to fruition. Absolutely. And clearly she's done other work since Moana. I just personally haven't seen any of that. So I'm very excited to see what her character range is. And yes, that voice is amazing. She's going to eat up these songs. I think it'll be a walk in the park for her. So I'm very excited. Yeah, she has it. the singing. There's literally no doubt yeah. about that. Aaron Samuels. This is a casting announcement that I'm sure the internet was very happy about. Christopher Briney. I think I'm saying his last name right. Christopher Briney was recently in The Summer I Turned Pretty, which was a very popular book to show adaptation on Amazon Prime that blew up on the internet. I personally have not seen it. Um, so I have not seen this man's work, but I've seen the edits thirst. on TikTok. I've seen the thirst seen around the, the thirst. internet. And I am very glad that so far we are we are casting young. We, we right. are casting Age young. appropriate. We learned from Dear Evan Hansen and we said, okay, the internet <laughs> will attach to this if we don't do it this way. And so let's cast Age Appropriate. Attached to this? Yeah, like not in a good way. Because uh, uh. Dear Evan Hansen got like flambéed on the internet. Right. Because Attach of... in a way that like a leech attaches, not attach in a way yeah. that like a happy girlfriend attaches. Absolutely. I understand. So I'm so happy to see a lot of youth in the right. people who are playing high schoolers. Age appropriate casting. Yeah. Pour one out to uh, Cameron Dallas. He had... <laughs> 
he had my pick to play this role. Bummed no. to see that he is not going to take it all the way to the silver screen, but Sorry. really excited to give Christopher a, a swing. As Katie's mom, we have Miss Jenna Fisher. Pam from The Office. I know that a lot of fans know her as Pam from The Office. I know her as restaurant patron sitting behind me at Italian dinner. Mm -hmm. Just a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. Sam and I were at uh, an Italian restaurant that we frequent in our neighborhood. And there she was right behind us yeah. with her family. We didn't bother her. We didn't talk to her no. because we have class. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let people eat their dinner. But uh, we were like, oh. If we're eating at the same restaurant as Pam herself, we're obviously doing something right. And now she's in this big musical movie, so that's great. Does this role sing in the musical? I literally I don't, don't remember. Know. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm just telling you, like, honestly what happened to me. Like, if you, if you, as I was walking out of the theater, if I was, like, mugged at gunpoint and someone was like, sing me a song you just heard from this musical right now, I would not be able to do it. I just, none of them stuck in my head. No sure. shade. It's just that my singular opinion. If you have a different opinion, that's okay. No shade at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying how I feel. Yeah. So I, in, to that end, since I literally can't remember, right finger, that's all, oh, sorry, YouTube. Right <laughs> finger. That's the only thing that I remember, mm -hmm. and I don't even remember what happens after that, but I don't remember like who sings, or what sings, or when sings, or why sings. I feel like I've maybe only ever seen like a small clip of Katie's parents singing, but that's also... Maybe just my brain creating stuff. I want to hear Jenna Fisher sing. Maybe. I feel like she can do it. Because you know it's going to be like a mom singing track. Oh, wait track. a minute. Jenna Fisher is in Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Which, have you seen? You still haven't I, seen this I haven't movie. Seen we it. have to watch this movie. Okay. It's with John C. Riley and Jenna mm -hmm. Fisher, and it's like a parody of like musician biopics <laughs> a la Walk the Line, you know, Elvis. Yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. And it's like, you know, it starts in the South and like. He's a really talented musician, but no one cares. And then he becomes an international sensation, but then he does drugs. And like, it's, yeah. it just follows like the trope of every single, it's so good. But Jenna Fisher is in that and she sings her arse off, my guy. Really? It's like legendary, actually. I totally forgot about that until this moment. Fierce, come on, Jenna. Oh, girl, I'm excited about this. Great casting. We have our first of the plastics of Antica. Now, this is an actress that I have not heard of before, which honestly, I love. I love to see a highly anticipated movie with new, at least to me, names. She's been in the Rebel Wilson comedy senior year and season two of the Sex Lives of College Girls. Both Sex things I've not seen. College Girls to Mean Girls, the musical pipeline going it's strong. Hot. It's hot. It's working. Yeah. It's working. So truthfully, I don't I feel no like I can, I can speak on her as a performer or anything like that, but I love to see a new name. Yeah. And like, listen, I mean, I think that we can trust the casting so far. So if what we've already seen is any indication of what we're going to see from this performance, I think it's probably going to smash. Absolutely. And I think the thing that makes me really happy about this adaptation is, of course, Tina Fey is heavily involved. Yeah. So you know she was involved in the casting. Well, yeah, she was with the original movie. The Obviously, movie was she her wrote baby. the original movie. And then she was heavily involved in the musical. The musical. So it would make sense that mm -hmm. the musical movie adaptation... She's involved in. Yeah, so totally that just makes well. me happy about all of this casting. Yeah. I'm like, Tina's got it. We trust Tina. Our Gretchen of the plastics is BB, Bebe, not sure. BB Wood, Gretchen Wieners. Kind of same as the last plastic for me. I'm not really familiar with this actress, but I love a new name. Honestly, you know yeah. what, YouTube? You've heard us like say our opinions about so many things. It's nice to have a couple question marks. Sam and Ryan have no takes. Sam and Ryan eagerly await the future to decide our opinions. We're not just like throwing opinions at the wall without having them. You know that you can trust us, okay? Because we only say what we mean when we mean it, when we have a foundation upon which to mean what we say. Okay? So like, bay bay bee bee ba ba, we hope you nail it in the movie. Oh my God, look, and Tina Fey's playing Tina Fey. Here she is. We life. love to see it. She's returning to reprise her role as Miss Norbury. Sing? I think so. Like, but, no, but does the character sing, I mean? She's got to. It's a musical, I guess, probably. Yeah. And Tina Fey has done enough SNL sketch singing to be <laughs> passable. So I am thrilled. 
Hold on a second. What does this article say? Well, because this article is saying, while it's not clear what role she'll take on, she appeared as the math teacher in the film. But I've heard people saying, via just word of mouth, that she's reprising her role. Is this article just garbage or do we what? literally not know yet? ET online. What is this? Yes, it is confirmed by Vulture that Tina Fey will once again play Miss Norberry in the upcoming Mean Girls movie musical. Cool. Okay. This article just Common made me confused. E.T. Online L. Yeah. Come on. Another returning cast member. Perfect. Love this to is see perfect it. to see Tim Meadows back in this role. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of shaping up to be a lame video because we have no takes. Like, it's just sort of like, yeah, agree. Yeah, trust this. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah, can't wait to see this. Like, honestly, it's it's kind of refreshing. Like, I feel like a lot of highly anticipated movies have risky cast announcements and it's sort of like, what? Like, what is so-and-so doing in this? But I feel like, A, this is not following that trend, which is great. But B... Musical movies in general, with the exception of Dear Evan Hansen, I guess, have kind of been crushing the casting. West Side Story, In the Heights, this, like, I don't know. It's kind of been slapping. I think so, for the most part. Regina George's mom is going to be played by Busy Phillips. I am gagged that Busy Phillips is old enough to be Regina George's mom. Yeah, I mean, she was in Freaks and Geeks. You're right. So She was. Yeah. And I guess she can do it. What, home Linda Cardellini. Cardellini was is a mom now in yeah. shows and movies and stuff. So I yeah. guess Busy Phillips is a mom now too. I I don't really understand why if Tina and Tim are coming back, why Amy Poehler can't come back. Maybe she just didn't want to. Yeah, or if she, I mean she's probably busy. I I hear that she's got quite a exciting burgeoning career. Uh, happening. I really think Amy Poehler might go go someplace. She might so make it. Keep one an day. eye on this channel if we have some breaking news. I think that she might break in. Yeah. Uh, but Busy Phillips is going to be busy in this musical movie, and I can't wait to see it. I love Busy Phillips. I love her. She's so talented. Yeah. She she's another great choice. Yeah. We have our Katie Angori and and Angori jo- Rice. Angori. Right? Isn't that how you say it? Angori. I don't I've know. been saying Angori Ang- Rice Angori. this whole time. Angori Rice. Okay, um, we'll go with Angori Rice. Hope I'm right. I was very surprised to see this, but I love it. Uh, you probably recognize her from Spider-Man, the Tom Holland franchise, as that uh, bratty reporter girl. <laughs> her name is Betty, right? Bratty. <laughs> uh, but she was honestly love a her lovely, that. lovely character there. She can sing, apparently. I hope so. I I hope so. She got the lead. She wouldn't be here if she couldn't. This is really good casting when you look at who's playing her mom. The Jenna Fisher and Angori casting. Like, that's really good. That's that's a a really, really good pairing. I'm excited to see her. I I loved the small role she played in Spider-Man. And I think she can absolutely take on Katie. Yeah, I mean, again, like a lot of these things that we're seeing are sort of like, oh man, interesting choice. Can't wait to see it. Like that's kind of been a trend with some of the plastics, with a lot of the leads here. So like, I don't think that that's a reason to be like, hmm, (laughs) we don't like know about like a lot of these people. So that's probably a trend to suggest that this is going to be bad. I think it's a trend to suggest that this is going to be good. I think we're going to see a lot of like knockout surprises and that's great. That's how movies should be made. Uh, And last but certainly not least, our Regina George, we have Miss Renee Rapp. We don't even have to say anything other than let's just roll the tape. Let's roll the tape. Someone who who has burgeoning on screen experience starting to hit on screen, has Broadway experience, and has been in Mean Girls the Musical in this This role. role. Miss Renee Renee Rapp, Rapp, Penny. Oh my gosh. We're putting you in there. Like age appropriate can sing the heck out of Regina's song. We have evidence. She's we done it eight shows evidence. a week. We have heard it. People yeah. love her, period, People but they love, love her, her in this role. Yeah, she's a great Regina. I stand by what we said. Period. I am thrilled. And also, considering we made that video a year ago, the year that Miss Renee Rapp has had is phenomenal to think about. And I am so happy that that has built her up to be the perfect person to play Regina George. Yeah. Like a year ago around this time, she was just like having sushi with us. 
<laughs> and we haven't heard from her since. We haven't. It's true. It's fine. But like Liddy, I, I mean, you go off, Queen. Go off. This is going to be so good. She's Vocals gonna are She's off gonna the rails. Literally it's, destroyed. It's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. So we are so thrilled with that casting. Well, Daddy, there you have it. Mean Girls the Musical is happening. We have yep. the cast. That's who it is. That's mm-hmm. what we think. Basically, we are saying dubs only. Mm-hmm. The casting is going to be great. Again, I will own, just in the interest of transparency, like, not my favorite property. I love the source material. The music doesn't, like, super excite me. But maybe this is one of those things where, like, the medium was just off. Or maybe I'm just, like, wrong, which happens all the time. Sure. Uh, so, like, excited to give it another look. Maybe it's going to blow me away. I want it to. Mm -hmm. My whole philosophy in the world is expect the best, prepare for the worst. I'm just like letting myself be prepared to not like it, but I'm expecting to love it. And that is super mature and wise. So I'm mature and wise and everyone should clap for me. I'm not the biggest fan of this music, but I am also really open to being surprised. Tea. I love the cast, so Tea. I'm so, so down to see what happens. They've started filming very recently, so it's in production. I don't know when it's coming out, but we'll see. The Apex Predator! I just remembered another song. Mm. Well, not song, that one line. <laughs> As Thank you always, so much be sure for to- watching. Thank you so much for watching. As, As always, always, yeah. Be sure, be sure to, to like, like and subscribe. <laughs> and we will see you all next time. Goodbye, Father. Bye. <laughs> My name is Adina George. Oh, yeah. Um, and I am a Okay. Yeah, I remember, like, mm. I, I could sing you. I see stars, so many stars tonight. I have seen this musical, and I have <laughs> no idea what that is. That's it's the prom number when she's breaking the crown. It's like, we're all stars. It is? I, like, you could literally have told me, that that's the opening number. And I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that tap number that I was like, I can't wait to see it. Point a gun to my literal <laughs> head and say, sing me a single line from that tap number. Couldn't do it. Do you remember the Halloween number? Sexy, sexy corn. Sexy corn? <laughs> I've never seen What is this? Shucked the musical? Okay, bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>